Now to our big story. One of the most popular campaigns of Boko Haram terrorists in Nigeria is against modern education. Years of the terrorist attacks have left many children out of school. It's the group in its clamor to make education a taboo succeeding. AIT's Ungusu Wuji in this report examines the impact of the crisis on school children in the region. Three years ago, Fatima Ali Muhammad School in Meduguri was shut down following invasion by Boko Haram. She still remembers the fearful sounds of gunshots echoing through the school and into their hearts. We are in boarding school that time. They are, our teachers did not leave us to go out because if we go out, they, they will, the bullet will affect us. I'm very afraid that time because we are crying, we are praying that time. We don't know what I will go to do. After holiday, they close our school, they're not open it. Thousands of other school children face Fatima's plight in the northeast. UNICEF estimates that about 1,400 schools have been destroyed and 1 million school children displaced in the region. Teenage Bukar says his own family fled from Abadam, making a dangerous journey of 184 kilometers to Meduhe. As we enter car, we also use our legs. We very supportive. Many people have died. Many people have died. You know. Some look around and kill some people. Uh, some people, they, they have died because of suffering. Without schools, children like these face a potentially bleak future and may become an unwilling fulfillment of Boko Haram's agenda in the region. That is a possibility groups and people like Zana Mustafa are trying to prevent. <laughs> Gathered here in this school are over 500 children, most of them victims of Boko Haram attacks, orphans, and the destitute. After the intelligence now, we are trying to pick up from the rubbles and try to give a positive moral and educational value to the children by bringing them the boy of where they come from. Fatima and Bukar are among students in this school. They've missed out on some school years, but are eager to catch up. I want to go to university. If I finish my university now, I will be, I want to be an accountant. These may be the lucky ones, but many others are still out of school, in the streets and marketplaces, leaving them vulnerable in the hands of criminals if nothing is done to change their condition. Because there are thousands of children out there in the street whom we need to take care and enroll to school. So if by just taking a fraction of them cannot solve the problem. So we need to have a concerted effort. Many of the children here come from a background of violence and terrorism. But with the opportunity they have in schools like this, they have hope that their future will be better. For now, children at Zana Mustafa's Future Assured School and other open schools in the Northeast embrace what education they can get against all odds. Ngusu Uji, AIT News, Meduguri.